Hey everybody, John Erickson here for Christian Country Living. Today we get the opportunity to look at a brand spanking new Ashland Deluxe wood stove. Stay tuned. Okay, so one of the reasons that I decided to shoot this video is because there was so little, and I mean little, information out there about this Ashland Deluxe wood stove. And I know that, uh, in my experience, I really could have used a lot more information to make me comfortable with making this purchase. Okay, so I did uh, buy this stove on faith a little bit. I did uh, have some contact with the dealer and um, I was able to get just a little bit of information from a couple of websites but there is no manual for this um, available. I'm going to be scanning that in later for you guys and um, just not a lot of information around. So I'm going to do the right thing by you and I'm going to set you up with um, a lot more information at least by the end of these videos uh, than you will find elsewhere on the internet. I want to start with an unboxing, um, so to speak. Obviously it's off of the crate. Um, I want to look at what this comes with. Now, you should know that I got every single option that this stove <laughs> comes with, except I went with black um, instead of white porcelain. So, uh, just because I prefer black. Um, but all of the other options um, you will be able to see at some point here. So, let's take a look and let's see uh, what you can expect to find inside. Okay, let's take a look inside the oven. Opens nicely. Let's peek inside and uh, see what we got. So, first thing we see here is this box. And it says that we have a free gift in appreciation for buying an Ashland cook stove. First off, we have some things you would expect. We have some knobs for the various doors. And we also have some touch-up paint, which will be handy. Sometimes things get scratched during shipping and so forth. Next, it looks like uh, this is a gasket for the water jacket. And this is some plumbing that you will also need to install the water jacket option, which I did purchase. So I will be able to hook this up to a hot water reservoir um, later on if I choose to. Now this is in addition to the optional 11 gallon reservoir that you can get. Also comes with some Teflon tape here uh, for the threads and also um, a couple clamps. We also have another handle here and some assorted uh, nuts and bolts. Not exactly sure what that's for yet. But. So I'm going to set these aside. We have an envelope here. This here, um, this is mounting instructions for the optional waterfront. And um, it's typewritten here, typewriter, and it's, um, you know, maybe six pages, three pages front and back. Okay, so that's all that's in this envelope here. Oh, I'm wrong. Here we have some instructions regarding the fire brick. Um, it wants you to look inside of the stove and verify that the fire brick is in the proper place. It also tells you um, a few of the, uh, the places of the various parts uh, of the stove here, um, depending on which model, whether you got the new decade, the deluxe, or the cabin tender. Uh, there's also some information about repair parts, and in fact on the back there's an entire list of different parts that you can uh, mail money to and receive replacement parts, which is very handy. You don't have to go digging around online to get this stuff. What else do we got in this envelope here? 
We've got the warranty, repair, order, and claim application. Now in this envelope, there's only one thing, and this is what you would use for the coal grate. This end will go onto the coal grate, and we'll show you that in just a minute here. A poker and an ash raker are also included with this stove. And I'm assuming that this is our free gift. It looks like a, a nice little uh, baking shelf, I guess. The dimensions are, the length is 20 and a quarter inches. And we'll call that about 19 and a half inches wide. So very nice size here, guys. The oven racks, I did choose to get the uh, extra oven rack. I think it was a $40 option. There's a... Second rack slot there. The only thing about that is that uh, that's the only adjustment spot. So as I said, there's uh, two slots for the oven rack here. And um, I wish that there were uh, more opportunities to adjust up and down, but that's okay. And actually, one thing that you can do is you can just take that out and you can just uh, use this. You've got this whole area here and you've got this nice area up here. Now, there is this and this piece here um, is actually nothing to do with the oven. Uh, according to the manual, I believe it's something that you put in uh, while you're taking out the ashes which is over here and um, you put that in you put this in there when you're unloading the ashes because the ash pan is not in there so then uh, you would unload your ashes then you would take this back out and dump it in your ash pan put your ash pan back in just keep things nice and tidy alright time to take a look at the firebox Again, this is the optional flame view door. It's just a six by six little viewing door so you can see what's going on inside. Now, first impression was, wow, this really isn't a very big firebox. But for one thing, this flips up, so it's a little bit of an optical illusion. And also, this, uh, this is just the summer grate, I believe, here. So this back here lifts up and you can take this grate out. I'm going to show you that here. As you can see, this firebox is actually quite a bit larger than it looks. It's hard to give you an accurate scope of the size of this firebox, but um, it is a fairly large size firebox. I wouldn't say it's the largest um, ever available. But uh, certainly much bigger than I am used to in my smaller stove. And um, it's, it's just really a nice size. I'll just say that. Down below, this is where we can uh, utilize this tool that we just saw. And take the grates. And the same with the other one here. Can also let in a little bit more air that way. I think that's uh, what they call the booster in the manual. Oh yes, uh, I didn't show you the manual. This is one other thing that came with the uh, manila envelopes that were sitting in the oven. Uh, this manual is actually pretty thorough. I was uh, pretty impressed with it. I mean it has 44 pages here um, on uh, everything from chimney connector to uh, refueling and firing hints. Uh, down below the uh, shake the grates we have the ash pan. And the reason it's so heavy right now is because uh, this is apparently the storage spot for it. 
Uh, I haven't actually located uh, where this is going to go, so I'm just going to take it out of here for now. One more interesting thing about the oven while we're at it is that it uh, has a hole right here where you can hook onto this. And this actually, I can't show it to you now because it's, it's kind of stuck in there because it's a little too cool, but this uh, slides out. And that makes for easy cleaning, like if you're baking a pie in here and it bubbles over. Um, rather than opening this door, while you may still need to utilize the oven, you can simply open the door, take this out, wipe it off, and then put it back in. And that way you save a whole lot of heat and you can keep your stove running.